drive as wind gets on. So it's nice that the weather is cooling down and I can have the windows open and, <clears throat> and save on my electric bill after the abomination of desolation that will murder me and destroy my life. Yay. In uh, the church news, they've uh, been releasing, uh, at least since Monday, of, uh, it could have even been on Sunday when they put it up, and uh, knocked the others down. Uh, Latter-day Saint Volunteers Aid in Florida Hurricane Cleanup. And I'm pretty sure they did something for Hawaii. Maybe. <laughs> Maybe they're too dark-skinned for the church to focus on. Unlike the Floridians. You don't think they're still racist? Do you even understand that members of the church must pay tithing? Blacks would join the church. They must pay tithing. But the church refused, claiming Jesus, that they can't go to the temple. They can't get priesthood. Thus can't go on missions. And yet they're paying tithing. This is a crime that the church had been perpetuating all those decades after being shut down for tithing crimes. And the church deceives you into thinking that it's denying religious freedom to have polygamous wives. No, it was tithing. And because of polygamous wives, with tithing, it becomes sex trafficking. <laughs> sex slavery. That's where the problem was. And the church won't tell you that. <sighs> but we're talking about this issue for this video. How the church takes credit for Mormon's work. And we have King Benjamin it's at the beginning of Mosiah, isn't it? I'm not going to bother to read it. We all know it. King Benjamin uh, gathers his people together, and, and Mormons try to prove that it's literal history because there's places in North or Central or South America where it's a valley, and if you speak, you can hear clear across the valley. Therefore, the Book of Mormon's true. <laughs> and you miss the message. You've looked beyond the mark. Is that leaders of the church, not just government leaders, are supposed to work. Unless they're too old and need to retire. And... And so, if Mormons are doing all the work, well, yeah, he says, I labor with, just like you guys. I don't take advantage of you as the leader. And yet, that's exactly what the prophets of the Church of Jesus Christ of Latter-day Saints are doing. And I forget that I need to include the full name of the church the Church of Non-Trinitarian Jesus Christ of Latter-day Saints. Sorry, Jesus. Non-Trinitarian Jesus. i got to say the full name. <laughs> Don't smite me down. He gets angry. And... <laughs> and this is a sad, tragic fate that Mormons don't get. See, Mormons see this and go, 
Ah, oh, the church is true. Latter-day Saint volunteers aid in Florida hurricane cleanup. Yay, church is true. You don't need the prophets to help other people when their lives are destroyed. In fact, when somebody's life is destroyed, this is how you know who your true friends are. And so, yeah, those Mormon neighbors, well, good, because that's also your neighborhood. <laughs> it's great that your t-shirt survived, helping hands. <laughs> but where's the prophets? They've abandoned the Floridians. You know, in the past, they used to do token appearances and hold a church meeting rather than actually dig in and get to work. But they're elderly. They're about to die. But still, they're getting paid to be a prophet through tithing. Section 119. That's a protection racket. That's a crime. Let alone it's in violation of the Book of Mormon. No priestcraft. But the church is taking credit for it. It's in the church news. And it's just pure evil. Because the church is not advertising that they're giving aid. You know, the token one or two semi-trucks with food and water that will only feed two or three people. And because their lives are destroyed, this is going to go on for months while they try to repair the damages. They can't go to work during this time. Their work was destroyed. <clears throat> and so this is something that they need assistance with. And the church is just saying, oh, well, FEMA and the Red Cross, helping hands. We don't need to do anything. We don't need to give of our substance. But we'll take credit. These are con men. And it's sad that Mormons can't see that. So, yeah, that, that's helping hands. I mean, they're the ones who tell us idle hands are the devil's plaything. That's what she said. Oh my god. So, yeah, we're we're done on this. I mean, there's obviously more I could put in, but again, the church is taking credit for something they're not involved with. And that's how they do it when they give money to a charitable organization. They didn't give the money. Mormons had to pay them to have a portion of that used to give to a corporation, not to the actual people who need it. But that's another issue. This is about labor, the child slave labor of the church, which, yes, that's a problem too. As uh, we see here in Utah, the Family Fund Center got busted for child slave labor. <laughs> Bring your parents to work day. <laughs> Pacifier Tuesday. <laughs> oh, the memes are coming out. <laughs>